I'm working with microbiology, and so now I hope to really collaborate with some food security and food, food science area so for, to produce a new food product and so on, especially on the fermented foods. Yeah, Kyoto University is one of the leading universities in the agricultural field in the world. And uh, Professor Sakai is mainly engaged with a kind of a microbiology, and I'm a part of the modeling part. What we are collaborating is some of, some of the projects that we are working with the Peru and the University of La Molina. We are doing some of the modeling with them, and uh, we could uh, uh, cooperate, we could share those experiences with the FAO in terms of the kind of the expertise and training course and kind of the results that we have obtained. And we have to establish some of the international collaboration that we have already accomplished and together with FAO. FAO is the main place for the political decisions in the area of agriculture and food production. I have something of uh, our idea how the science can be integrated into the, some politics and also to some new idea to incorporate our idea to the FAO to uh, establish a new politics in agriculture and to determine or decide the future direction of the agriculture field. Yeah, actually the FAO is, a, of course, a UN organization. They have a, you have a kind of worldwide network. Uh, but we don't have that kind of worldwide network. We are specifically working with the individual country, but sometimes we are doing further because of the project funding and also the expertise. And uh, if we could uh, uh, share those experience and uh, putting into the world standards will be very important because some of the collaboration that is coming from Japan uh, without uh, noticing about the UN organization, like a uh, wow collaboration into the Asia and the South America. And that kind of collaboration with technology and also the capacity building will be very interesting for FAO. I, I, I very much expected to do that, right?